In this video, we'll take a look at the type of reaction for H3PO4 plus KOH. This is phosphoric acid, and this is potassium hydroxide. This reaction, we're assuming there's a good bit of potassium hydroxide so that we'll end up with these products. So let's see. We have water here, and then we have a salt. We have a metal and some nonmetals. It's an ionic compound. This is a salt, and then we have water. So when I see that, I'm thinking already, probably going to be a neutralization reaction. If I look at the reactants, phosphoric acid, probably one you should memorize, that's an acid. And then KOH, I have a metal with an OH. So this is a hydroxide group bonded to a metal. That's going to be a base. Acid plus base gives you salt and water. That's neutralization. It's a good idea probably to memorize some of the common acids and bases. In this table here, that'll help. Let's look at a table of different types of reactions. We can see our neutralization reaction here, but we can also note that this is a double replacement reaction as well. That's because the hydrogen and the potassium, they change places. So now we have KPO4 here. We have the potassium phosphate and the hydrogen goes with the OH. That's HOH, which is H2O. So it's a double replacement reaction. We probably should balance the reaction though. Let's see. We need three potassium atoms and that would mean three waters. So now that's balanced. It makes a little more sense. So this is the type of reaction for H3PO4 plus KOH, phosphoric acid plus potassium hydroxide. It's both a double replacement and a neutralization reaction. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.